Good morning. Let's begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. As we prepare to celebrate Eucharist, let us acknowledge first our sins. Lord Jesus, you've shown us the way to God our Father. Lord, have mercy. You have given us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. You are the good shepherd who leads us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us everlasting life. Let us pray. And Mass is offered for Cody Moeller. O oh God, who never allow the gates of hell to prevail against your church, firmly founded on the apostolic rock, grant her, we pray, that through the intercession of Pope St. Leo, she may stand firm in your truth and know the protection of lasting peace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. I myself and am convinced about you, my brothers and sisters, that you yourselves are full of goodness, filled with all knowledge, and able to admonish one another. But I have written to you rather boldly in some respects to remind you, because of the grace given me by God, to be a minister of Christ Jesus to the Gentiles in performing the priestly service of the gospel of God so that the offering up of the Gentiles may be acceptable, sanctified by the Holy Spirit. In Christ Jesus, then, I have reason to boast in what pertains to God, for I will not dare speak of anything except that Christ has accomplished of except what Christ has accomplished through me to lead the gentiles to obedience by word and deed by the power of signs and wonders in the power of the holy spirit so that from Jerusalem all the way around to Illyricum i have finished preaching the gospel of Christ thus I aspire to proclaim the gospel, not where Christ has already been named, so that I do not build on another's foundation, but as it is written, those who have never been told of him shall see, and those who have never heard of him shall understand. The word of the Lord. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. <coughs> to the nations, saving power. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. The Lord has made his salvation known in the sight of the nations he has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness toward the house of Israel. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song. Sing praise. The Lord has revealed to the nations. The Lord be with you. 
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, a rich man had a steward who was reported to him for squandering his property. He summoned him and said, what is this I hear about you? Prepare a full account of your stewardship because you can no longer be my steward. The steward said to himself, what shall I do now that I, my master is taking my position of stewardship away from me? I'm not strong enough to dig. I'm ashamed to beg. I know what I shall do so that when I am removed from the stewardship, they may welcome me into their homes. So he called in his master's debtors one by one. <clears throat> to the first, he said, how much do you owe my master? He replied, 100 measures of olive oil. He said to him, here's your promissory note. Sit down, quickly write one for 50. Then another, to another he said, and how much do you owe? He replied, 100 measures of wheat. He said to him, here's your promissory note. Write one for 80. And the master commended that dishonest steward for acting prudently. For the children of this world are more prudent when dealing their, with dealing with their own generation than the children of the light. The Gospel of the Lord. That's an interesting gospel and not always an easy one to understand. Uh, Jesus isn't praising the dishonesty, he's praising his ingenuity, his prudence, his ability to, to go to all extremes in order to, to save his, his livelihood. You know, it reminds me, I, uh, years ago, I know a pastor who told a group of high school students they were all uh, cutting weight and really, really, you know, starving themselves and and, and doing all this in preparation to be wrestlers. And, and he said, if I asked you to do that for your faith, you would think I was crazy. <laughs> Same point, really. What are we willing to do for what we want to achieve in this life? What extremes do we go to to succeed in business? And then what do we do for our faith? Interesting to, to think about that. The, the point of the parable is that uh, the master, the owner of everything that we have, is God. And we're all stewards of what we've been given. How is our stewardship? You know, uh, uh, today we, we honor Leo the Great. He's one of only uh, three popes or saints that have been declared great. Uh, Gregory the Great, Nicholas, and St. Leo. But Leo is, is, is one who... Uh, especially uh, during uh, the, the sack of Rome, uh, uh, the barbarians coming into Rome, he said to have gone out and, and made peace terms with Attila the Hun and, and, and negotiated with him. Uh, but mostly I, he's known for his uh, doctrine, his great tome that, that explained the two natures of Jesus and helped defend the fact that Jesus is truly divine and truly God. But it said that Pope Leo especially was good at speaking to the point in very short homilies. So I better stop. <laughs> but let's imitate both Pope Leo in being a good steward of the faith. Even Paul, Paul who, who, who talks about going to people who have never heard of Christ. And I think there are many in the world today. Let's be good stewards, taking the faith to others and being as prudent, as serious about the kingdom of God as all the other things that we spend all of our energies in life. Let's stand and pray. Attentive to instruction and guidance, we bring our prayers. That Christ may accomplish signs and wonders through the ministry of the church today, we pray to the Lord. 
that bishops and pastors may gently encourage and correct their flocks. We pray to the Lord. That the faithful may instruct one another through lives full of goodness. We pray to the Lord. For missionaries and preachers, they may proclaim the good news of Christ to all who seek it. We pray to the Lord that our offering may be pleasing and acceptable to God, we pray to the Lord. For all of our deceased loved ones, that they may share forever in the life of God, especially those names in our book of remembrance, we pray to the Lord. This Veterans Day weekend, let's pray for all those who have, have sacrificed for us, for our freedoms, and for peace. We pray to the Lord for the prayers we pause now to mention in silence. We pray to the Lord. God of goodness, you give us each other as teachers and companions on the journey to you. Fill us with your spirit of wisdom and goodness that together we may proclaim the gospel of Christ and offer an acceptable sacrifice of praise through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. It is through your goodness that we've received the bread we offer you, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. It is through your goodness that we've received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, will become our spiritual drink. Lord, wash away my iniquities and cleanse me of my sins. Pray now, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, our loving Father. Through the offerings made here, we pray, O Lord, graciously shed light on your church so that your flock may everywhere prosper. Under your guidance, the shepherds may be pleasing to your name through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty, our salvation, at all times to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For on the festival of Pope St. Leo, you bid your church rejoice. So too, you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, Teach us by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. So now, with all the angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving you thanks, he broke it, and he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, 
for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, with all the bishops, all the clergy, and all your people. Remember also all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, St. Thomas More, Pope St. Leo, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Trusting in God, we pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from all evil. Graciously grant peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and protect us from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's share that peace with each other. <clears throat> Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Mercy. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof. I say the word.
Let us pray. Be pleased, O Lord, to govern the church you have nourished by this holy meal, so that firmly directed she may enjoy ever greater freedom and persevere in integrity of religion through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We go in peace.